we are looking at how we can customize the COP28 to be solving the problems in the Alberton region. Miss Jennifer, you're most welcome. Thank you. Could you introduce yourself, please? I'm Jennifer Baitramasa, a WHRD based in the Alberta in Graben and passionate about uh, women and climate justice. Environmentalists are looking at, uh, at Dubai for the COP28. Um, I have a feeling that um, the issues that are affecting women, more especially those in the Alberta in Graben, are going to be well represented and there will be a solution to have them resolved um, at least mechanisms put in place for mitigation and adaptation to ensure that women are not adversely hit by the effects of climate change. Just give us a perspective on how women in the Alberta region have already been affected by climate change effects. Well, we experienced floods uh, along uh, Lake Albert where we saw loss of livelihoods, we saw loss of homes and this mostly affected women because reconstructing themselves wasn't easy because everything now was no more and this also led to breakage of families because men could not stand reconstruction of homesteads instead they disappeared and went somewhere else to start other new homes and women were left pending. But also we are seeing the change in seasons because we know that women are the major land users who depend on cultivation and uh, we realize that due to the change of seasons they have not been able to reap as they used to do and this has led to the limited uh, food in homes which has caused malnutrition and uh, other health complications because they are not able to get more food for the children but also children have been affected, more especially the girls, where we have faced an issue of scarcity of water and it is women who walk long distances to go and look for water. And in this they have been faced with challenges of rape, early marriages, early pregnancies, because when they walk long distances there are a lot more things that they face that affect them. Do you want to mean that environmental justice is more important for women than men? We need to agree that the women are the most affected by climate change issues. What makes the Alberton region special when you are addressing these issues affecting women in relation to climate change? It is the host of the oil and gas extractive industry. So we realize there are many more activities that are going on in the, in the sector where we have infrastructure development, we have oil extraction, we are seeing um, road construction, we are seeing um, the CPF, we are seeing the ECOP, they are cutting down trees. For example, at the airport, as we see, they acquire 29 square kilometers in Ruseruka. Kabale and where the airport is currently. As you see, the, the place is just plain open with no trees. So when we look at um, this, because we are saying let's plant more trees as a measure to combat climate change, but here is a scenario where we are cutting them. Yeah. Uh, how have women been participating in efforts to combat climate change? One, women have decided to form women climate change movements such that they can have consolidated efforts and avoid threats like being singled out such that their voices are amplified to advocate for climate justice and so, so they have gone ahead to mobilize themselves in small groups where they are able to start up um, projects that are eco-friendly aimed at protecting the environment for example the groups have resorted into apiary planting trees but they have also moved a step ahead to go and raise awareness within their communities where they come from such that there is flow of information and people are able to know the adverse effects of climate change and the mitigation measures that they can take how, how better can they participate in this struggle for climate justice we need to empower more women build their capacities allow or give them platforms take part in decision making and also enable them to engage the, the policy makers and have an influence into the policies that are well placed to help in combating climate change where do you draw confidence in the cop 28 countries come up together and they come up with solutions and uh, solutions that they are going to partake in their countries so i have a belief that while they are in this conference of cop 28 they are going to have discussions on how to combat how to finance issues of climate change uh, mitigation and adaptation don't you think that uganda is enough itself because we have the laws and policies 
yes, we have good laws, but what is lacking is the implementation. So I believe with um, many discussions with different diplomats, they will come up with better options of, of policy implementation. Mm, we cannot talk about the Albertan region and forget the Bugoma Central Forest Reserve, which is continuing the first mm -hmm. degradation. Mm -hmm. Do you think also this one needs the COP28? Yes, one, Bugoma Forest is one of the biggest natural forests in the country and we believe um, the, um, the underdeveloped countries are the ones that receive most of the carbon emissions that come from develop, developed countries. And when we see there is a change of patterns where our forest, the big forest of Bugoma, is being changed into a, a sugarcane plantation, and we all believe that um, sugarcane is not environmentally friendly because there are use of chemicals and the rest. So I believe it is an issue because we need the forest. One of the, one of the measures to, uh, to achieve climate justice is protection of the eco-sensitive areas where we have Bugoma forest, which is a habitant of, uh, of uh, animals that attract tourists, but also it is a, they are good places for women because they get fruits, they get medicine for their children, they form rainforest. As we've drawn here to the end of this interview, mm. as a human rights defender, which specific message could you send to Ugandan delegates meeting at uh, uh, the COP28 in Dubai? Because at least I know last time we, I did attend COP27 in um, Egypt and um, the, a lot of laxity that Uganda didn't have side events. So I would re uh, request them that at least this time they set up side events where they showcase their plans that they have to ensure that they, uh, they mitigate the adverse effects of climate change and also show us how also um, giving a request to the developed countries to ensure um, um, fina balanced financing for mitigation and adaptation to reduce on the greenhouse emissions and encourage resiliency. Specifically on Bugoma Forest, what do you have to tell them? To keenly protect Bugoma Forest and replant it, have it restored to the original state that it was. Which activities do you have as human environmental and human rights defenders in this region alongside the COP28? We are having activities like tree planting, but also tree, um, taking up women to to, to help them cope with, uh, uh, to adapt to the renewable energy solutions. For example, we need them out of the forest, we need them out of the wetlands, and we need their financial capacities improved. So we are, in, we are giving them options um, yeah, through use of briquettes, use of solar, to mitigate the health hazards can, that come up with using uh, fuel for lighting and also fuel wood for cooking. Cousin Gemma, online, live from Hoima City.